Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on password and OTP generator. Let us begin. Let us first understand the requirement. You will be requiring an IDE. I will be using IntelliJ ID in this video and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Over here is the main method. I am passing an object of pass class. This is the uh, GUI form. So to create one you need to go over here in the project package. Click on new, click on Swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. It will pop up a menu where you will specify the class name and uh, then on pressing OK it will uh, pop up these two uh, files which is the dot form file for the UI and the dot java file for the code. Uh, this is the dot form file. You can uh, use this palette present over here and you can drag and drop uh, like uh, I have uh, done over here. So this is the J label. This, these are the J labels. These two are the buttons over here and these two are also J labels. And uh, this uh, one over here is uh, its name is password and uh, over here its name is OTP. So to add the functionality to the buttons you need to right click over to the button and then go to create listener. Then I have added the actual listeners to both this button. Now let's move to the Java file. So to display this particular uh, application you need to uh, use this JFrame object which I have created and in the constructor this is my constructor you need to run the set of codes so this one exits uh, the uh, this one terminates the program this one uh, you, you need to pass the uh, j panel name so this is the panel okay i have named it as pass so you need to pass it over here okay to display the panel and to resize it you need to use this pack method and uh, set location relative to is set to null it means that the uh, this form will appear uh, in the center of the screen then set visible is set to true now this is the uh, action listener for the password button now on pressing the button uh, what i am doing here is uh, this creating a string builder uh, object over here okay then uh, these two loops uh, are used to set the value of a okay i am appending each character from a to z in capital and in small okay and then this is the object of random class and uh, this is the uh, this will be the password array okay the uh, it will be of eight uh, characters so i have specified the length over here now i am looping it and uh, uh, what I'm doing here is uh, choosing the uh, uh, random character a dot character at this is this will be the string a okay it will randomly uh, extract uh, one character from this long string uh, which will be the capital uh, a to z and small a to z okay using this next int uh, from the random object r okay so uh, if we will we need to specify the length uh, it so a dot length is the string my string so it will generate a random number from 0 to this length okay that random number will be the index uh, to this uh, will be the input parameter for this character at method and then a random value will be uh, j uh, picked from this string a and we are setting this uh, we are filling this array okay so at the end of this loop uh, we have the uh, complete array which uh, will have the random characters okay now uh, we are just uh, converting this array to string and uh, setting over here okay uh, using the set text password was the j label similarly i am doing it with uh, otp uh, just the numbers will uh, the string will change okay the string will be 
uh, from 0 to 9 number so we are just randomly picking uh, any character which is this number uh, and then setting this uh, array uh, otp1 then finally converting it into the string and setting this otp okay now let's uh, run the program okay this is the ui so on clicking this button password it will generate this password okay uh, eight characters long and otp will be of six digits on pressing it again it changes okay so the program is working i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to the channel for more interesting project ideas